Let's go check it out. On page three, I have this huge table mapped out so that once we fill it in, we will have the amortization schedule, okay? Um, so this is what it looks like, okay? In this top right-hand corner, I've got our starting balance. We're buying the washing machine for $584, okay? And then if you kind of count here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows here, okay? Um, each row is mapping out how a payment is handled, okay? So this first column is for the payment number, okay? Um, we said a few minutes ago that we're gonna make six payments to pay off this washing machine, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and label these rows. The first payment, second payment, third payment, fourth payment, fifth payment, and then the sixth payment, okay? Um, the bottom row is for totaling everything, so we'll do that at the very end, okay? So basically, like I said, we're mapping out each of the six payments to see how each payment uh, pays off the $584 as well as the interest, okay? All right, so let's read the titles of the uh, columns here, okay? Um, so for each payment, we're gonna put how much the payment actually is, okay? And then in the next column, we're gonna calculate the interest part of the payment, okay? Meaning how much of the payment goes towards the interest, okay? And then in the next column, we're gonna figure out the non-interest part of the payment, okay? So this is gonna be how much of your payment goes towards paying off the purchase price, the 584, okay? And then um, we'll go ahead and get, after the per first payment, we will figure out how much we still owe towards the purchase price, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and try it, okay? One thing you're gonna find as you do this, okay, when you make a payment, okay, and this goes not only for the washing machine, but your house, um, student loan, anything that you're, any kind of debt you're trying to pay off, anytime you make a payment, um, it's immediately, you're gonna to have to pay off the interest, any interest that is gonna has accrued, okay, in that time frame, And then whatever's left goes towards reducing the principal, okay, or the amount you borrowed, okay? All right, so let's try it out, okay? So we go, we finance the washing machine for $584, okay? We know what our quarterly payment is going to be, okay? So it comes time to um, make our first payment, okay? Um, remember, there's usually a lag in time, okay? So when you buy the washing machine, you don't pay, make the first payment immediately, okay? Um, probably a quarter will pass before you actually make the first payment. So this is already gonna be earning interest, okay? By the time you make the first payment, okay? All right, so time comes to make payment number one. How much is the payment? Well, we calculated it to be $112.86 sense okay so you're gonna make that payment okay immediately we have to pay off any interest that has accrued since we purchased the washing machine okay so to calculate the interest okay we're gonna use good old I equals PRT okay so the principal was five hundred eighty four dollars okay um, the interest rate is seventeen point six percent Okay, and the time frame, okay, like I said, usually a quarter, one quarter will pass before you have to make the first payment, okay? So um, four months out of 12, okay, um, will pass, okay? So I'm sorry, I misspoke. I meant three months out of 12. A quarter is three months. Sorry, my bad, okay? All right, so there's your PRT. Okay, principal times rate times time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and figure that out. Okay, so we're gonna get, let's see, 584 times 0.176 times 3 twelfths. Okay, so we're gonna get this amount. Okay, so I'll go ahead and write out all the digits. Okay, so this is gonna be 25.696, okay. And then again, you need to round this to dollars and cents, okay? So 
Um, if we round to the nearest cent, this is 69. There's a six after you need to round up, okay? So the amount of interest that has accrued is 16, or sorry, $25.70, okay? Again, okay, one quarter has passed between purchasing the washing machine and actually making the first payment. And this is the amount of interest that has accrued during that one quarter, okay? So what's going to happen is this $112.86 immediately pays this off, okay? And then whatever is left is going to be used to reduce this $584 amount, okay? So this is the interest part of the payment. So now we're going to move to the next column and we're going to calculate the non-interest part of the payment, okay? So we're going to take $112.86, the amount of our payment, we're going to subtract out the interest because we have to pay that off immediately, okay? So if we subtract that out, go ahead and put that in a calculator, you will get $87.16, okay? So if you add these two guys, okay, they're going to add up to your payment, okay? So this is the how much goes towards the interest. Okay, this is how much goes towards this 584. Okay, so after the uh, first payment, okay, you want to calculate your unpaid balance. How much do you still owe towards the washing machine? The, how much do you still owe towards the $584? Okay, so you're going to take $584, which is your principal. You're going to subtract out how much has been used to reduce this debt. Okay, all right, so $87. And 16 cents subtract that out okay and so we still owe after the first payment four hundred and ninety six dollars and eighty four cents towards the purchase price of five hundred and eighty four okay so take a minute look at how this payment worked okay because we're gonna have to do it for the remaining five payments okay so what happens here um, again what's gonna happen there's always a lag time. So like when we do the next payment, there will be a lag time of one quarter between making this payment and having to make the next payment, okay? So this amount, the amount you still owe towards the purchase price is going to be earning interest, okay? All right, so anytime you make a payment, the payment immediately goes, part of it immediately goes towards paying off any interest that has accrued, okay? The remainder goes towards paying off the purchase price of whatever you bought, okay? So let's continue on and talk about what happens with payment number two, okay? All right, so after payment number one, you still owe $496.84 towards this purchase price of $584, okay? So you make the first payment, you don't have to make another payment until another quarter passes. So in the meantime, this unpaid balance accrues interest, okay? So the quarter passes, this accrues interest, now it's time to make the second payment, okay? So again, the payment is going to be $112.86, okay? Immediately, we have to pay off the interest that has accrued between the first payment and the second payment, okay? So to calculate that, again, you're gonna use I equals PRT. Okay, so this amount has been accruing interest, the 496.84, okay, at an interest rate of 17.6, okay, for an entire quarter, which is three months out of 12, okay. All right, so you're going to plug and chug that into your calculator, okay. It's going to give you $21 or 21.86096, okay. Round this to dollars and cents. Okay, round it to the nearest cent, okay? The amount of interest that accrued between the first payment and the second payment is gonna be $21.86 if you round it to the nearest cent, okay? All right, so the second payment, $112.86, immediately you're gonna uh, pay $21.86 towards the interest, okay? So this first goes towards paying this off, okay? Now we're gonna calculate what's left after you pay off the interest, okay? So the non-interest part of the payment, we're gonna take 112.86, okay? Subtract out the interest that we paid, okay? 
This is going to leave us with $91. Okay. So again, for your second payment, okay, you add these two guys, okay, you'll get the total amount of the payment. Okay. So this amount goes towards paying off the interest. This amount goes towards reducing this purchase price. Okay. So after the second payment, how much do you still owe against this purchase price? Okay. Well, you're going to take your previous balance. We still owe, after the first payment, we still owed $496.84 for the washing machine. Okay. Now we're going to subtract out $91. Okay. And we're going to get $405.84. Okay. That is how much you still owe after the second payment, okay, towards this purchase price, okay. This is known as the unpaid balance, okay. After the second payment, this is how much I still owe, okay. All right, so we just keep repeating this process, okay. So um, we make the second payment, okay. Another quarter is going to pass before we have to make the third payment. So this amount sits there and earns interest. Okay, so then it comes time to make the third payment. The third payment will be another $112.86. Okay, so again, we need to calculate how much interest was accrued between the time of making the second payment and making the third. Okay, so we're going to do our I equals PRT. Okay, so for the past quarter, $405.84 has been earning interest at 17.6% for an entire quarter, which is three months out of 12, okay? So you're gonna pop that in the calculator, okay? So during this time frame, $17.86 worth of interest accrued, okay? Let me go ahead and write out the decimals, all the digits. Okay, so remember, you're gonna pop this in the calculator, you're gonna get some decimal expansion, you just need to round it to the to dollars in the nearest cent, okay? All right, so as soon as you make the third payment, okay, you immediately have to pay off the interest that has accrued, okay? So you're gonna take this, pay this off, and then calculate the remainder. The remainder will go against this amount, okay? So we're gonna do, um, the non-interest part of the payment is gonna be the 112.86 minus the interest, okay? So this is gonna give us an even $95, okay? So again, these two values add up to this amount, okay? This is the non, this is the interest part of the payment. This is the non-interest part of the payment, okay? So now if we wanna know how much is still owed on the purchase price of $584 after the third payment, we just need to take our previous balance of $405.84, subtract out the $95, Okay, and that's going to give us $310.84 that we still owe after payment number three. Okay, all right, so let's keep going. I know this is long, but it really helps you visualize what is going on. All right, so you make the third payment. Okay, an entire quarter passes before you make the fourth payment. So this amount accrues interest. Okay, time to make the fourth payment. Okay, it's going to be another $112.86. Okay, um, this amount has been accruing interest. Okay, so the amount of interest inc accrued between the third and fourth payments, do your PRT. Okay, so you're going to get $310.84 times 0.176 times the amount of time, which is an entire quarter, which is three months out of 12. Okay, so you pop this into the calculator. Okay, um, let's see if you do that. Try it, you will get 13.67696, okay? Round that to the nearest cent, so that's going to be $13.68, okay? So this is the interest part of your payment, okay? As soon as you make this payment, it immediately is going to pay off this interest, okay? So now we need to calculate the non-interest part of the payment. So we're gonna take our payment, subtract out the interest, okay? This is going to give us 
and 18 cents. Okay, that is the non-interest part of the payment. Okay, that will go towards reducing this um, unpaid balance. Okay, all right, so after payment number four, okay, you would still owe how much on the washing machine? Well, your previous balance, $310.84 minus the non-interest part, $99.18, okay? So you would still owe $211.66, okay? All right, two more payments, almost there, okay? All right, Um. so again, after payment number four, this is how much you still owe on the washing machine, okay? An entire quarter will pass before you have to make payment number five, okay? So this amount will sit here and make and earn interest, okay? So <clears throat> um, we'll go ahead and make, when it comes time to make payment number five, that's the amount of our payment, okay? We need to calculate how much interest this accrued over the previous quarter, okay? So do your I equals PRT, so it's gonna be 211.66 times 0.176 times three out of 12, okay? Plug this in your calculator, okay? You are going to get 9.31304. If you round that to the nearest cent, it's gonna be $9.31 worth of interest, okay? All right, so this is the interest amount of the payment. Okay, so when you make your payment, immediately we're going to deduct 931, okay, to pay off the interest, okay, and now we're going to calculate the non-interest part of the, of the payment. So take your payment, subtract out the interest, okay, that is going to give you $103.55, okay. These two guys add up to this payment, you got the interest part of the payment the non-interest part of the payment, okay? So this part is gonna to go towards reducing the debt. All right, so after payment number five, we still owe $211.66 minus $103.55, okay? So that's $108.11, okay? All right, so that's how much you still owe on the washing machine. Okay, after the fifth payment, okay, um, an entire quarter has to pass before you make the last payment. This amount will be accruing interest, okay? So since this is the last payment, I am going to go ahead and calculate the interest first, okay, before I declare what the payment is, okay, because watch, the last payment might be a little different. Um, it might be different by a few cents okay, because it is the last payment, you might owe a little bit less or a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and calculate the interest that has accrued between the fifth and sixth payments, okay? So that is gonna be uh, PRT, so $108.11 times 0.176 times one quarter, okay? That's gonna give you four point seven, five, six, eight, four. Round that to the nearest cent, so that's gonna be $4.76, okay? So, your total payment is going to be what you still owed plus the interest, okay? So your final payment is gonna be $108.11 plus $4.76. So if you add those two figures, your final payment is $112.87, okay? All right, and so then what you would do, you know, your usual, okay, this amount would first pay off the interest. Then you would calculate what's left, so $112.87 minus $4.76, okay? That would be $108.11. Okay, this amount goes towards paying off the outstanding debt. Okay, so we subtract off what we still owed, okay, minus the non interest part of the payment. Okay, and you get a zero balance. 
okay? So this really showed you, yes, this was intense and very extensive, but it shows you that every time you make a payment, okay, the payment immediately goes and pays off any interest that has accrued in that time period. And then the remainder goes towards reducing the debt, okay, or the, the amount of the purchase price, okay? And, you know, by making these um, periodic payments, okay, you not only pay off the purchase price, but you also pay off all the interest that has accrued over the time period. Okay, so it's pretty cool that this amortization formula is calculating that for you. Okay, that figure that it pops out is the periodic payment that you would have to make to pay off the purchase price plus the interest. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the last row here, I have you total everything up. Okay, so if we wanted to know the total amount we pay for the washing machine, we're just going to add everything in this column. Okay. So if you, if you add all six payments up, okay, you're going to get a grand total of $677.17, okay? If you add the interest column, okay, if you add the second column, <clears throat> that'll give you how much interest you paid for the washing machine. So if you add all those numbers, you're going to get $93.17 worth of interest, okay? And then if you go to the third column and add all these guys, the non-interest part of the, of, the pay, uh, of the payments, okay, add all of those box numbers, okay, you're going to get $584, which was the amount of the washing machine, okay? So basically what this has shown us, okay, we paid $584, okay, for the washing machine. This is how much we paid in interest. You add these two numbers, you get the total amount you paid for the washing machine. Okay, so this is an amortization schedule. Okay, it shows you how each payment goes towards paying off the debt, the purchase price, plus all the interest. Okay, um, very tedious, but again, hopefully it really showed you how um, your periodic payment is working to pay everything.